Welcome to our study this week called Walking and Working for Truth. We're in 3rd John, and uh, this week we'll be looking at verses 1 through 8, and then next week we'll look at the rest of the book. But this week is only 1 through 8. And uh, so we're looking at the third letter from the elder John. He wrote his first letter to believers so that they might know that they have eternal life. His second letter addressed the problem of false teachers and the proper way to treat them. This third letter is about hospitality in ministry. It focuses on three men, Gaius, Diotrephes, and Demetrius. Two are examples of good and worthy of imitation, and one is an example of evil and was to be dealt with. The first eight verses that we have before us deal with Gaius and what he was doing to serve the Lord and his people. The four main ideas that are found in First and Second John are also found in this letter. Here we find love for God and love for his people. We have the embracing and testifying of the truth. We also find faith in God as well as faithfulness as a child of God. And finally, we'll hear about the necessary good works that flow from a person who has been born of God and has received the love and truth and faith implanted in them from God. John never strayed from these four main ideas in the other two letters, and he does not disappoint here in the third. These four inseparable doctrines are what makes a Christian a Christian. If you destroy or alter one of them, then you no longer are talking about a biblical Christian. John's view of Christianity is a hard sell in our liberal American church these days because it stands in stark contrast to the pluralistic, therapeutic deism that our culture celebrates. All roads lead to the same God who is just there to help you with your problems and make you feel good about yourself. It is true that kind of religion is an opiate for the masses. But biblical Christianity, as explained by Jesus and the New Testament writers, is different. God does not exist for us, but we exist for him. The end goal is joy and bliss, but not in ourselves. It is found in God. We cannot find our best life now. Sure, his yoke is easy, but it is costly. And his burden is light, but it requires your death. Remember love, truth, and faith that are displayed in good works. That's what we need to learn. And that's what we'll be talking about this week as we go throughout our study. So join me next time. We'll take a look at verses 1 through 4 and how we ought to be walking in truth.